Hey, good morning, guys. Just coming to you with my daily blog here as a video. And uh, we're starting off with my wallpaper, which is a grotto in Italy that is a, a poet's grotto. So it's like a, a place for poets to go and write. Kind of a cool picture of what's probably a pretty cool place. Now let's jump into my blog. Today we're talking about St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi, Come and Love, Love. Today we read about a very unusual woman in the book in Kylo Ed and Terra. Uh, she was born in Italy with the name Katerina. She was very devout, even as a young girl, and when she was old enough, uh, joined the local convent and took the name Mary Magdalene. She chose this convent because it was very difficult and because the nuns were permitted to receive the Eucharist daily, which was uncommon at the time. She began having visions in which angels and saints spoke to her. The other nuns in the convent were commissioned to write down what she said, and it filled several volumes. It reads like a drama. She was fond of ringing the bell for mass and crying out, Come and love, love. <clears throat> you can read more about her here, and it is the Franciscan media site, so let's listen to what they have to say about her. Hey, same picture. Let's listen to what they have to say about her. Here we go. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for May 24. Today we celebrate Saint Mary Magdalene de Pazzi. During her 41 years, Mary Magdalene de Pazzi was in such close union with God that she is called the ecstatic saint, but she also knew times of spiritual dryness. Born in Florence in 1566, Catherine de Pazzi entered the local Carmelite convent at 16, taking the name Sister Mary Magdalene. After only one year, she became critically ill. Death seemed near, so her superiors let her make her profession of vows from a cot in the chapel. Immediately after, she fell into an ecstasy that lasted some hours. The ecstasies, repeated after she received communion on the following 40 mornings, were rich experiences of union with God. To preserve the revelations, Mary Magdalene dictated her prayer experiences over the next six years to her sister secretaries. Her words filled five large volumes of books that recorded ecstasies as well as long periods of trial. Mary Magdalene endured violent temptations and great physical suffering. She died in 1607 and was canonized in 1669. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintoftheday.org. From Franciscan Media, this has been Saint of the Day. All right. Love himself. God is love, you know. So love himself is calling out to you today, too. He is present in the Eucharist, waiting for you to come visit him. Come and love, love. God, thanks for the wonderful example and written works of this amazing woman, St. Mary Magdalene de Pazzi. Pray for us. And you guys have a great day.